Indian Air Force has different fighter for different roles. Su-30 MKI is heavyweight air dominance fighter geared mainly to take out enemy fighter and maintain air supremacy over enemy's airspace. It is complemented by MiG-29s, which have been used in operations from aircraft carriers. For medium role fighter slot, India has finalized on acquiring 36 Rafale jets, with provision of more jets in future. These aircrafts are meant to penetrate into enemy territory, play a multitude of roles including high precision deep ground attacks and nuke delivery. Light jets are mainly meant for defensive role, and are intended primarily to protect the country's airspace and carry out low penetration bombing missions. Being cost effective, these can be used to have numerical superiority in the air. India currently fields Dassault Mirage 2000, Jaguar and MiG-21 in this category. Dassault Mirage 2000 and Jaguar has seen midlife upgrades and are still relevant. India has 245 MiG-21s, which is a very old Soviet-era aircraft designed in 1960s, and are not suitable for any upgrade. Hence, it is looking for a new fighter to supplement the indigenously developed LCA Tejas in replacing the MiG-21s. There is a sense of urgency in acquiring new aircrafts, as Indian Air Force strength levels are depleting due to an aging fleet of MiG-21s. India needs 45 fighter squadrons to counter combined threats from Pakistan and China. Currently, it has only 33 squadrons, where each squadron has about 18 to 20 jets. The number of jets to be acquired will be around 150 to 200. Three major aircraft manufacturers are offering to set up a manufacturing base in India, under Make in India initiative. These moves gain significance, as India looks to fill the fast dwindling fighter squadrons. In this video, Defense Updates is taking a look at each of this offering. So, let's get started. Number 3 The F-18 Super Hornet is twin-engine, multi-role fighter aircraft variant based on the McDonnell Douglas F-18 Hornet. Since it is carrier-capable, the Indian Navy can use it too. Thus the aircraft could meet both the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy's operational requirements. It must be noted that, F-18 Super Hornet has seen extensive upgrades from the original F-18s. The Super Hornet is bigger has longer range, can carry more weapons than the old Hornets, and it is fitted with the newest electronics. A single piece of the twin-engine, twin-seat F-18 fighter jets cost about $65 million. Number 2 Lockheed Martin is offering India Block 70 F-16, which is the newest and most advanced F-16 fighter jet. F-16 models are denoted by increasing block numbers, to indicate upgrades. Each block of planes has a variety of software, hardware, systems, weapons compatibility and structural enhancements and can be tailored for specific customers. The Block 70 includes enhancements such as ACE radar, advanced architecture, new center display and is certified to carry latest weaponry. This improves pilot situational awareness and provides increased operational capability. Single-seat F-16s costs around $40 million. Number 1 Swedish defense major Saab has unveiled its next-generation fighter aircraft, Gripen, E. On May 2016, the company said, this latest version is being offered to India under the Make in India initiative with transfer of technology. It has significantly improved avionics system when compared to previous versions of the Gripen. The capability to carry more weapons and improved range performance is possible with a more powerful engine, and the ability to carry more fuel. The company has not only offered to set up a base in India but also help in the development of aerospace capability for the next 100 years. It has also offered to partner in developing the next version of indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas and the advanced medium combat aircraft, being developed and designed by Aeronautical Development Agency of India. Single-seat Gripen E will cost $65 million. Number 
this type of deals could be win-win for both India and the manufacturer. It makes sense for Boeing, Lockheed Martin or Saab to open production lines in India, since as per Make in India initiative, they would have to invest back 50% of the total value of the deal. For India, not only will it create jobs, but also having a production line would be a big boost to the nascent private aviation sector in India. India will be the hub in which these aircrafts will be manufactured, and sent to different nations who buy them. All these three proposals involve significant transfer of technology with a substantial native content. The proposal will also benefit the indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas program, as well as the upcoming advanced medium combat aircraft. It can be foreseen that once the production line is established, newer aircraft of these manufacturers are also likely to be built in India. It remains to be seen how this pans out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.